Hello, my name is Terry Crowley, and I would like to share this short video with you about completing tasks in the financial aid verification portal. Um, this is part of completing a application for financial aid. Uh, there are times when the Department of Education may have requested additional information to be verified at the school. And so we need to ask for documents to review that information. Other times we are requesting documents from a student who wishes to be considered for a special circumstances appeal. If there have been changes from the uh, in the student's family or financial circumstances that have changed their resources uh, from the base year of the FAFSA which is two years prior to when the student is attending school. Today, I'm gonna to go over accessing for new students through the admissions portal to um, uh, align with the uh, verification portal. I also will access for current students that are currently attending UVM. We're gonna look at the difference between web forms, which are completed online and signed, or uploading documents that you have in PDF form to complete the requested task. Uh, students can electronically or e-sign documents and invite their parent, who is the parent on the FAFSA, if it's a dependent student, to sign their form and also review how a parent electronically or e-signs a document. So let's get started. So as I said, new students will access the financial portal from their admissions um, access. So that is uvm.edu forward slash admissions forward slash app status, as you can see at the yellow arrow here. It, the page looks like this. You would log in and see on your display screen in the center, the new student financial aid checklist. On that checklist, you're going to look for activate your financial aid verification portal and click on that to link you into your student record. If you've already activated that with the green check, there may be tasks in the UVM aid verification portal. That's we've requested some information from you. So when you first click that link, you would register to that portal and you need to match your information that is on your FAFSA record, your social security number, your email address, the same email address you used for your FAFSA. That is how it's going to tie to you and your, of course, your name and date of birth as well. Now, for a current student, they would access the portal from the MyUVM student portal. The link is here. I'm sure you're familiar with it. And you would choose the tab Student Financial Services. Next, you would see under the financial aid banner, view my requirements, and then you would select for the current year, July 24 to June 25. So students will either see or choose one of two requirements. New students activate the portal or current student tasks in the UVM portal. So under those requirements, you would click on this link to take you to our verification tasks. There you will see under student forms, you will see what is needed. So in this situation, verification. Uh, if there was an appeal for special circumstances, that would be under this tab here. So in the verification portal, 
this student, for example, has several items that we're looking for. We're looking for the dependent verification form. This is a dependent student. Um, uh, the parent's 2022 tax return, that would be a document to upload. A statement of educational purpose, that's required from the Department of Education. The student's 2022 tax return and some additional information of federal rollover confirmation. So in the student forms, you would click on each task for directions about that item. What are we looking for? Um, some require uploading documents. As I said, this example is the uh, tax return, the IRS Form 1040. We need the 22 um, version for the parents. We need it signed and we need all the schedules. So you would upload, click on the upload button and upload each page of the tax return securely. Where do not, please do not send it by email to us. That is not secure and it's your sensitive information and we would not want that to be exposed. Once you upload it, you would, if you have an additional page, it will ask you that. You can click yes and then upload the next page. When you're finished, you would click on the submit button to finish that document. When um, this is an, an example of an online web form, and so you would answer the questions for, did your parents have a rollover? Uh, yes, they did. Um, that would be um, changing uh, assets from one account to another account on their 22 tax return. Then you, when you finish the form, continue, the student could sign it with an electronic signature. And so you would create my e-sign pin. So the student then signs it with consenting to use an electronic signature. Yes, I, I wish to do that. You can enter your first name and last name, your information, and then create a five digit pin and enter it again and that would, and then hit OK. The student would be then signing it, and then it would say, you have e-signed this form. The parent, if you're a dependent student, would also be required to electronically or e-sign this form. So you would hit the request button to ask your parent by sending them an email, you're inviting them to sign the form. You would enter their email address, and this is the parent that is on the FAFSA, just so I'm clear on that. Then you would enter their email address again, just to make sure you get it right. Um, and then your parent will be getting an email for them to log in to this site with a pin um, and they can review the form to sign. So when the FAFSA parent signature, they log in, create a, a secure password and look at the needs action. This is where they see what they are asked to do. Um, and so they are asked to, in this situation, sign the dependent verification form. You have been requested to e-sign this form. So they would click on e-sign. And enter their password that they created. It's the same one that they logged into the account. Uh, initially with their email to sign in to view this portal. Hopefully they will see, congratulations, this form has been e-signed and may now be submitted for review. So they would hit submit on that document. But 
if the parent doesn't agree with the information that the student entered or finds errors on the form, they can opt not to sign it and say form not approved and hit OK. That will send it back to the student. The parent can also make the option to not electronically sign it. Um, if they opt out of signing it, then they would need to um, have the student also opt out of signing it. The signatures need to match. If a student is electronically signing it, the parent needs to electronically sign it. If the parent opts out, then the student will also need to opt out, print out the form, and then sign it with their hand, uh, wet signature is what we call it. The parent would need to sign it with a pen, and then they would need to upload the form and submit it that way rather than electronically signing it. I hope this is, information was helpful to you. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're here to help. Um, we are here every day, Monday through Friday, from 10 to 4.30, through the summer and through the academic year. Um, please give us a call, email us, um, whatever is most helpful to you. Thanks very much. Have a great day.